Today, I'm going to show you how to create an entire business with ChatGPT. We're talking about the idea, the marketing plan, the target audience, a social media ad script, an email marketing campaign. We're going to figure out the branding, the color palette, the logo, the website design, all of this relying on ChatGPT. If this video helps you out at all and you want to see more, click the subscribe button now. Just get it over with. Get me in your feed. Let's get started. So we're in ChatGPT here and we need an idea for our business. We're going to start completely from nothing. So let's just ask chat GPT. I don't have a business idea and I'm trying to make a lot of money to get out of the matrix. Give me a unique business idea that will generate $10,000 a month in revenue. The cost to start this business must be low and achievable. This business idea must have customers that want to purchase my product. Give me three ideas. Let's enter and see what chat GPT comes up with social media management. Okay. We're not going to do that one because we need, we need a product. We need something tangible. At least that's what I want right now. Okay. It's, it's giving me, giving me, it's giving me some basic ideas here. Online tutoring, drop shipping, social media management. If I asked it for a fourth one, it'd probably say consulting. I got to train chat GPT here a little bit. So I'm going to say, do the same thing, but give me ideas with tangible products. Okay. Here. Okay. We're starting to get there customized gift baskets. You can start a business that creates and sells customized gift baskets for various occasions like birthdays, holidays, and weddings. You can source items for the baskets from wholesale suppliers and use your creativity to assemble unique and personalized gifts. That's actually a pretty good idea. Okay, let's put that one in our pocket, but I'm going to ask for five more. Give me five more ideas that are a bit more cool and exciting. Okay, I think we got our one here. Mobile car wash and detailing service. Starting a mobile car wash and detailing service can be a great way to reach customers who want their vehicles cleaned but don't have the time or desire to take a traditional car wash with low startup costs you can purchase the necessary equipment and supplies to get you starting on it okay but we're going to add in a little bit of our idea and we're going to make it a luxury mobile car wash for high-end cars because you know they want to make sure that their car is getting washed the right way they want it perfect they don't want to go to a mike's car wash they want to get a car wash from people who actually appreciates really nice cars and that's what our business is going to cater to so now we need to figure out a business name. I told ChatGPT, my business idea is a high-end mobile car wash and detailing service. We only service high-end cars that want the utmost quality car wash. Give me seven catchy business names for this business. Let's see what it says. Okay, so I immediately see Elite Auto Spa. I'm surprised I didn't see some like Alpha Auto Car Wash. Okay, these are pretty typical for uh, the for the business that we're talking about. Royal, Prestige, Premier, Luke's. Okay, give me 10 more but make them unique give me 10 more but make them unique and quirky you know what let's say unique quirky and weird let's just see what it comes up with we want it to really stretch its creative mind here Ooh, i like this one the shiny stallion i think we're gonna go with that one so now we're gonna ask chat gpt to give us a business description and a mission statement all right here we go we got our business description and mission statement in seconds now we're going to move on to our marketing plan for this one i'm going to do something a little bit different i'm going to use my own customized prompt for this it's a tool i made called the ultimate marketing tool if you guys want access to it i'll leave it in the link in my description it's super helpful for coming up with a an entire marketing plan i'll show you guys what i mean so the prompt is already written out for us. We just have to take the business name and the business description and put that into my customized prompt and just hit submit on playground, which is another version of chat GPT. It's a little bit more customizable submit. And this is what will give us It's giving us our target audience, a product recommendation with a call to action and playground doesn't like that. We're getting a long output here. So we just got to hit submit again. So it continues. It gives us a script for a social media ad video, an email for an email marketing campaign, a social media influencer list and some SEO keywords that we can use. And we just got all that in a few seconds. This is a great tool for figuring out your marketing plan, having it displayed out for you in just a few seconds, super easy. The prompt is written out for you. You just input the name and the description and you're good to go. Again, if you guys want the prompt, there's a link in the description of this video. So now we have that. Now we get to the creative part, the visual part. I am looking for a color palette for this business. It resembles cleanliness and luxury. Give me four colors that work together in this color palette. It should give us four colors and some hex codes. Okay, it gave me some colors here, but it didn't include the hex codes. So I told it to try again, but give me some hex codes and no greenish color because uh, I don't want any green. Okay, so we got some uh, color codes here. So I will take these 
and I like to use coolers.co to kind of see the colors together. So we'll input these color codes inside of this. And there we go. These are the colors that we're going to work with for our brand. I think these colors are clean. Now we come to our logo. So I have another customized prompt that I use for vector like logos. I'll also include that in the description. But if you type in your subject, what you're looking for, and then add vector somewhere in there, you usually get the result that you're looking for in a logo. My prompt just gives a little bit extra to get exactly what I'm looking for in a clean line logo. And here we go. We are getting pretty close to what we want. We're going to generate this again because I didn't really like those too much. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I'm liking this one here the most. This one looks clean, simple, has a certain style to it. Let's generate one more time because just we can. It's super easy, it takes a few seconds, so might as well. Like if we were to give this job to an actual artist to illustrate this, it would take them hours, maybe days to do this. So the fact that we can generate like a hundred results, you might as well just keep clicking generate until you get exactly what you're looking for. And you don't have to exactly use this. You don't have to like save this image in and use that as a logo, you could take this image, show it to an artist and have them perfect it and just have them kind of reference this idea. And it just saves a lot more time and it helps you get exactly what you want. And that's what I think AI should be used for. I don't think you should be using AI. I don't think you should take whatever AI presents to you and, and use that. You can take that, adjust it a little bit, show it to an artist, change it a little bit, add your flair and your touch to it. Have AI work with you, not for you. This one here looks pretty good. Like I could, I could almost just use this. This one here looks like a sports team logo. Okay. I'm going to go with this one here. I think this looks pretty good. Um, this stuff here I could cut out. I could isolate this with a little bit of Photoshop work and make this into a nice logo. Okay. Now, finally, we are going to create our website or our website design. And for this one, we are gonna use Midjourney. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a website UI design that I like and I want the AI to kind of resemble and reference. I found one here. I took a snapshot of this little area here and then I went into my Discord, uploaded it to the Midjourney AI art. And if you guys wanna join my Discord, there's a link in the description. It's the Nick is Meta Discord. We have a Midjourney AI art section. Feel free to use it if you want. So I uploaded the reference image onto this channel. Then to help Midjourney use this as a reference, I'm going to right click the image, open up the Midjourney prompt, and I'm going to paste that link onto there. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add this line of code to help it tell it what I'm trying to aim for here. So I'm aiming for a website about luxury car wash, design, sales, Helvetica is the is the font, Figma, UI, just to help guide it a little bit, and dash dash Q5 for quality. Enter, and let's see what it comes up with. All right, it just finished, and these are looking pretty snazzy. Though These actually look really good. This first and third one, yeah, I'm liking these designs. I think this first one is the one. This first one and second one. So then I, what I would then do is take this first design, send it to a web designer, have them do all this and use this, this first page here as a reference. And honestly, it's not that hard to create websites for your business. I mean, there's things like Shopify that'll help you. I mean, that's one that comes to mind, but I know there's a lot. If anything in this video helped you out at all, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Let me know in the comments if this helped you. I need to know that you guys are not robots and that you're real human beings. Connect with me. Comment on this video. Hit the like button. Join my Discord. Follow me on Twitter. Every time I see your guys' interactions on my videos, it always helps me and motivates me to create more. It helps knowing that these videos are actually getting to somebody. That is all I have for you in this video. I will see you in the next one.